Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora, and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. It's a brand new week, and it's a brand new day. And we're excited for the things that we're going to be sharing together for this week in Senior Moments to Remember. I'd like to encourage you. Remember, God is with you. God promised never to leave you and never to forsake you. God promised that when He is with you, He will strengthen you. He will help you. He will bless you. So expect good things from our Heavenly Father. Let's open in prayer. Father, we come to you and we thank you for a brand new day. And Lord, we remember you said in your word that every day your mercies are new. They are new every morning. And right now, God, we just enjoy your mercy. We enjoy your mercy being poured out upon our lives. I pray for mercy to be poured out upon Tatay for your mercy to be poured out upon Nanai, for strength to be upon their bodies, Lord, for joy to be in their hearts. Bless this time together in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, before we continue, let me just ask, if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section, and we would love to pray for you. Or just type in a greeting. Let us know where you are. We would love to hear from you. Now, let's come to the presence of God and enjoy a time of worship. Good morning, come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember. Bye. 
you're my God. You're all together loving, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Oh, yes, I love you, my dear, I love you. The drama era no sia lore bregura ra brechina. Si la mama e no no se la me. Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey, and this is your wow moment. Wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is very important to you because you have lived it. You have proven it, and you are now enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment for today will be coming from Psalm 103, verses 1 to 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. In your many years of coming to church, have you ever experienced being in the service but not exactly being there 100%? Meaning, you may be there physically, but your mind has been wandering off. Maybe your mind has been wandering off and going to home because your son or your daughter is sick. Or maybe your apo is sick. Or maybe your brother and sister, they're in the hospital and nobody's watching over them. Or maybe your mind is wandering off because you have a chore that you have not been able to finish. Whatever it may be, your mind kept wandering off and you are not exactly in the service. It happens to us all. We're humans, so don't condemn yourself. But you see, God understands our humanness. And He teaches us what to do. The Bible tells that when we are in situations like this, we are to remember His goodness. We are to remember what He is doing in our lives. Because whatever situation it is that your mind may be wandering off to, God has the solution. God has the answer. God has the provision. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, plans to give you a future and a hope. John chapter 10, verse 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to Him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. You may be thinking about how you're going to come out of this quarantine. Just remember, God has plans for you. You may have been surprised by this quarantine, but not God. Maybe your plans may have been interrupted by this quarantine, but not the plans of God for your life. So I encourage you, revisit the plans that God has given you earlier this year. When God gave you those plans, 
he knew that this quarantine was coming. So revisit the plans and bring it up to God. Let God lead you. You're going to come out of this quarantine well. God is going to work out for your good. God is going to do things for your good. God is the God who can do beyond what we can ask or imagine. Just come to Him. And when you remember the goodness of God, who He is and what He is, your mind and your heart, it's going to be redirected to Him. And you will be able to worship Him. You're going to be able to bless the Lord with all of your soul and all that is within you. Now, bless in the Hebrew word is the word barak. It means to kneel down. And that is a position of worship. That is a position of humility towards God. So in the outside, you are kneeling down. But in the inside, your heart and your mind, they are all focused on God. You see, something wonderful happens when you seek the Lord with all of your heart and all of your soul. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29 but from there, you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul. You see, when you seek God with all of your heart and with all your soul, you will find him. He will not be elusive. He will not be difficult to find. Just seek for him with all of your heart and with all of your soul. So surround yourself every day during this quarantine with all things that will remind you about the goodness of God. We have an array of online programs starting at 5.45 in the morning and ends at 9 in the evening. And you can even go back to all of these programs because they're all posted in Facebook and in YouTube. Just surround yourself with everything that will remind you of the goodness of God and it will help you direct your mind and your heart all the time towards Him. Let us read that verse again, but this time in the New Living Translation, Psalm 103. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise His holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. Praise God. He has been good to you, and He will always be good to you. This has been your wow moment, and our prayer for you is, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you, as you continue in wisdom, will always be even more fruitful. God bless you. Moments to remember. Hello, Willful Exemplars. This is Pastor Paula, and welcome to another Sababa Moment. For today, we are going to Caesarea. Caesarea is our first stop whenever we go to Israel and when we arrive on our first day there, this is our first place to go to. The first time I set foot in Caesarea, my jaw dropped because the place was huge and beautiful and you can see the vast Mediterranean Sea just right beside it. This is also the place where the baptism of the Roman officer Cornelius took place in Acts chapter 10 verse 1 to 5 and in verse 25 to 28. And from here, Paul set sail for his journeys in the eastern Mediterranean. And here, Paul's, Paul was also taken a prisoner and was sent to Rome for his trial in Acts chapter 23, verse 23 to 26. And we will talk more about Caesarea in the next episode of Sababa. But for today, let us uh, see the passage that talks about Caesarea and let's see what we will learn from there. If you have your Bible with you, please open it with me in Acts chapter 9 verse 26 to 31 and we are going to read it in the English Standard Version. It says there, And when he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples and they were all afraid of him. For they did not believe that he was a disciple, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared to them how on the road he had seen the Lord, who spoke to him and how at Damascus he had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and out among them at Jerusalem, preaching boldly in the name of the Lord. And he spoke and disputed against the Hellenists, but they were seeking to kill him. And when the brothers learned this, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. So the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was being built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. So there was a big change in Paul's life in this passage. 
this was the time where he encountered the Lord and he got saved. So when he got saved, the Lord charged Paul to preach the gospel not only to the Jews but also to the Gentiles. So he made a 180 degree turn from his former life persecuting the believers to the preacher of the gospel. And when he turned his uh, back around his former life, he may have lost his old friends, his fame, his status in the society. But you know what? Upon his relationship with Christ, he gained more. He gained a family in Christ who took care of him when the Hellenistic Jews tried to kill him. And also, the church that he ministered to in Judea, in Galilee, and in Samaria, um, it multiplied. It grew not only in numbers, but they also grew spiritually. So these are just a few of the benefits that we have when we have a relationship with Christ. As we walk in and with Christ, we are so blessed to receive all the benefits from Him. And not only us, but also the people around us, the people that we share the gospel to, will also receive the benefits of having a relationship with God. He promised us in Psalm 103, verse 2 to 5, that He says there, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. What are the benefits that we receive? He forgives us of all our sins, just like what He did to Paul. And He heals us of all our sickness and disease, who redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with love and compassion. And He will satisfy our life with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. So always remember, my dear exemplars, we have a God who always blesses us and we have benefits of having a wonderful and a deep relationship with the Lord. So keep that up and keep on also sharing the gospel to other people so that they too will also receive the blessing and the benefits of having a relationship with God. Isn't he sababa? Thank you so much, wonderful exemplars, for your time today. And we hope to see you in the next episode. This is Pastor Paula. See you again next time. Bye! to remember Hello, COP! I'm Sister Susan Riata a Connect Group leader and a choir member from COP Batangas. A year ago, our canteen business was affected by road widening, thus less space and less income. Then, earlier this year, Taal Volcano erupted, and the fact that our business has not yet been fully recovered, without hesitation, we used our place as a center for relief operations for COP Batangas. And God turned things around for us. In the midst of the pandemic, our family reaps an extraordinary harvest for our business. This crisis brings an increase for demands for basic commodities. And with such God-given idea, we now have our talipapa or mini market. And with that, we have a 10 times increase in our income. Really, God is faithful in His promises. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to His purpose. Let us hold fast to God. He is our provider. God bless COP. Welcome to Golden R. I'm Pastora Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing for There is a River.
Thank you for your time. Stay fit for service. God bless. Moments to remember. Hi, this is Pastor Latin and welcome once again to our prayer time. Thank you for always allowing us to be part of your life. Every time you share with us your prayer request, we look forward praying for you. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your grace throne in the name of Jesus, knowing that you will answer the needs of your people because faithful are you who made the promise. Father, right now we lift up to you Sister Elsa Cristoria. Thank you, Father, for giving her strength and good health all the days of her life, that no sickness nor disease shall come near her family. Thank you also, Father, for touching her eyes, O oh God, and healing her from astigmatism. Thank you that by the wounds of Jesus, Sister Elsa has been completely healed. And Father, I also commit to you, Sister Margie Binarao. Thank you, Lord, for giving her heart's desire to be back in your house and worship you once again. Thank you for the uncommon favor. Thank you for the ability to go to your house. And thank you, Lord, that you have revealed to her that it's truly better to be in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Also, Father, I pray that Sister Margie will enjoy good health and strength in her life. In Jesus' name. Father, also for Sister Elena Sendana, thank you, God, for healing her from gastritis. I pray also, Father, that even right now you are touching her son and causing your goodness to be seen in his life. Thank you that he will grow in his walk with you and he will experience your miracles, O oh God. Also, Father, for Brother Regalado Aceron, thank you, God, for protecting his entire family from this deadly pestilence. Thank you, Lord, that their family will be far from this COVID disease in Jesus' name. And also, God, we are believing that you will send them right buyers or tenants for their properties, that even in this pandemic, they will see your faithfulness and their financial stability, that they will see blessings overflowing in their lives. In the same way, I commit to you, Sister Feli Aceron. Thank you, God, that you will grant her wisdom and guidance in everything that she will be doing. Thank you, Father, that your miraculous hands will touch her and cause this Alzheimer's disease to be broken off of her life. Thank you that in the name of Jesus, Sister Feli will receive her healing right now. Father, also pray that you will cause all her body organs to function normally, that there will be no complications that will happen. Thank you, O oh God, for answering the prayer needs of your people and everyone who's been watching with us today. Thank you that you are visiting them in their homes, in their sala, wherever they are, and causing your miracles to take place because you are good, you are powerful, and you are faithful. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer. Moments to remember. Thank you for joining us today. It has been a great time with you in Senior Moments to Remember. Now before we go, let me just remind you again. God loves you. You are precious to Him. You are important to Him. He has your name engraved in the palm of his hand. He always remembers you. You are not forgotten. You're special to God. So expect God to bless you. Expect God to strengthen you. And expect God to help you every day of your life. God bless you, Nanai. God bless you, Tatai. Let's close in prayer. Father, we thank you for a beautiful day that we have shared together. And we pray, O Lord, that right now, your presence will be with Tate and Nana, and it will stay there for the rest of the day, in their home, whatever they do. And we pray that you keep them safe, keep them protected. And we thank you that you are faithful to your promise. You keep watch over them, being their shepherd. Bless them, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please type in your prayer request, and we would love to pray for you, and we'll be in touch with you. We'll see you again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. God bless you. Moments to remember.